You may talk now, Mukbul. <laughs> he thinks he's on radio. Hey guys, this is Sharon. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're having fun. That's not what she says. No? No. What does she say? That sounds like more like me. Oh, oh alright. But I also wouldn't say something like that. Alright, she's firm. Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to Doha. Yeah, we're in Doha. I'm so pretty. Hey, welcome to Doha. We're in Qatar. And it's really, really cold. Maybe tell our Two Cents fans um, who you are, because they may not know who you are. Really? Hi guys, hi there, this is Mabbo <laughs> from Capital in the morning. And I'm the special guest this time around on Two Cents. Yeah, and actually, I don't, I'm not going to call him Mabbo, I'm going to call him Donovan from now on. <laughs> I'm his Asian tour guide. <laughs> So we're in Doha for the next four days and I'm going to be bringing you updates on all sights and sounds of Doha courtesy of Qatar Airways. Going places together! <laughs> So just got off the VIP bus. Um, the best part is we just found out we don't have to pick up our own luggage. No, look at that. So we're heading straight to the lounge and our bags. Where we find us at our rooms. The, they'll, they'll find us at the lounge. Okay, good, right? It was so windy and cold that day in Doha. The guys had to actually get towels and even blankets from the hotel. Thanks, Intercontinental, the city. We are about to go for the crashing and we are in the desert. Once we reached the sea line Golden Dunes, our driver deflated the tires and gave us a ride to remember. So what are you doing? Like you're reducing the pressure? Yes. Oh. It's a video. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see anything. Like, you just... Oh my god. <laughs> We're on the edge. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> I'm not ready for that one. <laughs> Guys, check this one out. We're going for it again. Big down. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is a small down. This what? is a small down. Oh, 
Oh, here. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's what we just did. Oh. They're sliding down. Oh. Shit. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. What the? This is the crew. Land Cruiser 2. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. After about an hour of almost throwing up, we finally made it to the campsite, which is located right by the sea. And on a good day, you can enjoy a nice swim, play volleyball, or sandboarding on the dunes while you barbecue. We're just from dune bashing for like 45 minutes. Scariest thing ever. But we pull up in the middle of nowhere and it's like a bedroom tent just everywhere you turn. And then you turn around and see that. It was so cold that we all hid in a tent and I know Sharon would be proud of me because I got everyone to play Ellen DeGeneres' game, Heads Up, where you play charades with your phone on your forehead so that you can record everyone's reactions. Basically, you look like this. Bowling, bowling. Um, oh, oh. oh uh, snow angels. Yes. Um, marching band. Marching, dancing, swinging. <laughs> tai Chi running, jogging. Oh, speed walking. What? Walking away. I'm walking away now. But, oh, pass, gosh. Balloon, miming. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, haircut. Yes. <laughs> eating, eating. Oh, you, a uh, baby food. Yes. Be eating baby. Oh, shocked. Surprise. Yes. One more. Oh, high five. Yes. <laughs> Then we went to explore Katara, the largest cultural hub in Qatar. This cultural village serves as a guardian to the heritage and traditions of the country and spreads awareness about the importance of every culture and civilization with beautiful theaters, exhibition galleries, a stunning mosaic mosque, and an amphitheater with perfect acoustics. Then we ran into a store that sold falcons for the sport of falconry, which actually began over 5,000 years ago in Iran and is the basis of the modern version of the sport practiced in Qatar. And just in case you were wondering how much it costs to own one of these falcons, one million. One million real is? 28 million shillings. 28 million for a bird. Let's just think about that for a moment. Right. I had the chance to check out Mataf Arab Museum of Modern Art, which holds over 9,000 works of art from the Gulf region and Northern Africa, which makes this the world's largest specialized collection of its kind. Bye. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. Bye. And finally, the 
the Museum of Islamic Art was next. Our stay in Doha was only for a few days, but it was definitely an eye-opener. It's rare to see a great city in the making these days, but here's your chance. Whether it's the stunning and constantly changing skyline or landmark cultural icons, this is definitely a city oozing with confidence and style, with the old and the new perfectly represented. Bye Doha! Bye Doha! <laughs> Check out our Two Cents playlist for more videos and don't forget to subscribe.